Hi everyone, I want to show you the Scala stop state monitoring speed separation using an S bot by six. And also there's six LIDAR. I wanted to show you the hardware that's required for this application. You can see the S bot in the background. To the left of that safety controller is the frames. Then you have your inputs and outputs on the two modulars just to the right of that. And the far right two modulars are the relays safety relays that are going to go to the RC-1000 controller into the functional safety unit that's going to require for this to happen. Now I'm going to demonstrate the speed separation and stop state monitoring. You can see the scanner down here on the, on the below next to the robot. I have two zones set up. There's going to be a yellow zone with the warning zone that's going to slow down the robot. The next is going to be a stop state feature which is a red zone. You'll see the robot comes to a complete stop. As I walk in to the field, notice the scanner turned yellow. It reduces speed down. And once I enter into the red zone, you see the robot has stopped. Now we're actually sitting there monitoring the two safety relays on the S box for stop state monitoring. As I walk back out, you'll see that it will gradually pick back up the speed and run full, full potential. Lastly, the SBOC is unique in all other safety controllers because it has a sequencing event that switches fields. So what I will do to demonstrate that is I enter into the first field, you will notice that I will reduce my speed into a stop state monitoring. That takes it to the second field. But once I walk behind the robot, I'm going to put the robot into an e-stop condition. That sequences me walking in and out of the field to make sure I leave the field so I don't get hurt. You can see I'm going to walk in here, it's already detected me. Once I walk behind the robot, you will notice I go into an e-stop condition. The s bot noticed that I got, I walked into the field, but I did not leave the field. Now that the s bot has stopped and has faulted out due to me not following my sequence going in and out of the field, my robot has stopped. Now we have to perform a reset. To perform the reset, notice that my SIF scanner is not green, it's yellow or red. Once it turns green, that means the field of view is open, nothing's obstructing the field. I have a white flashing light on my push button here is requesting to restart the SIF controller. Push it down for one second, notice I have reset now. Now all I need to do is start up my robot. We'll press the servo power button and press start button. Thank you for watching.